Welcome. I'm Gus Minch, an astronomer at the American Astronomical Society. Today, my astronomer colleague, Kim Arkand, some friends at Pencil Code, and I will guide you through one of the many applications of computer science in astronomy. This is an hour of code activity which emphasizes creating and exploring with computer science. Computer science is a way of using computers to create new things and to solve problems. In today's activity, you'll explore how computers use red, green, and blue to make color. You'll combine images to create a mashup, and finally, you'll use real data collected from telescopes to create beautiful color images of an exploded star. Astronomy, and almost every other scientific field, uses computer science to solve challenging problems. Astronomers study the universe and everything in it. The earliest astronomers observed the night sky using the only tools that they had, their eyes. The invention of the telescope in the 1600s allowed astronomers to see more than they had ever seen before. Then, for hundreds of years, telescopes continued to improve so people could see more and more of our universe. However, there is a whole range of light that you cannot see with your eyes. You can think of this like an alien visiting our planet for the first time. Imagine that you took this alien visitor to a baseball game, but with their limited vision, all they could see was the third base line. Not only would it be difficult for this alien to understand what was happening, but it would also make the game incredibly boring. When humans look into outer space, it's like that alien trying to watch a baseball game. There's a lot happening that we just cannot see. To understand the ball game better, we have to look at many kinds of light. This includes infrared, optical radio, and x-ray wavelengths, so we can get a more complete picture of our universe. Take, for example, supernova. As a massive star ages, it eventually uses up all of its energy and then explodes into a supernova. A supernova explosion can release so much energy that it can briefly outshine an entire galaxy of billions of stars. We care about supernova partly because the elements we need to live are created in the center of stars. Everything from the oxygen that we breathe, the iron in our blood, and even the calcium in our bones come from stars. It is the death of these stars that scatter these elements of life back out into the universe. The eruption of a supernova releases different kinds of light. First, we see a burst of x-rays. Then, much later, as the explosion cools, we see the dusty remnants that contain these elements of life. We might use a giant radio telescope in New Mexico or a cold telescope orbiting the Earth to find and measure this dust. Modern telescopes collect a whole spectrum of light to create breathtaking images that capture all of this alien information in colors that we can see with our human eyes. In today's activity, you will work with real data taken from space-based telescopes as well as ground-based telescopes. You will build new pictures of supernova explosions from these data and begin to explore how astronomers understand these events. Once this video finishes playing, click the green arrow below to move on to the next video. There my friends at Pencil Code will begin to explain how Pencil Code works and you will begin to experiment with color and the astronomical data.